I'm here today at the wonderful historic Radisson Blue Alcron Hotel right in the heart of Prague and in front of me is quite a renowned chef Roman Paulus who's going to talk to us a little bit about traditional Czech cuisine and modern Czech cuisine. What's traditional Czech cuisine, Roman? In English, please, not in Czech. <laughs> So like we said before, the traditional Czech uh, cuisine is uh, pretty similar to, to the ones in Austria or Bavaria, Germany. So it's based on, let's say pork, mm -hmm. some veal like venison, uh, fresh water fish and seasoned vegetables. Of course, uh, we don't have fresh vegetables all over the uh, year. Mm -hmm because of the four seasons, but uh, still, uh, even in the winter time, so we have things like uh, sauerkraut, yes. and, uh, some different fruits. Uh, and you have knödel. Uh, we have knödel. I love knödel. <laughs> all, all, the, all the starch goes right to your stomach, but it's great food. And of course, we use in, in the winter time, we use like fruits uh, marinated in alcohol, mm -hmm. dried fruits, so plums, apricots. Mm -hmm. Uh, many different ones. We in, in, the, in the in the past we or they did quite a lot of like kind of compote, so all the vegetable mm -hmm. could be stored for a long time, all vegetable and fruits. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think um, the Czech cuisine is pretty much fine for for everyone. It's worth trying. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's actually delicious. What's modern Czech cuisine? How does that differ from the from the traditional Czech cuisine? I think we, we wouldn't really talk about modern and old, uh, but we had the 40 years of uh, communism, which uh, wasn't uh, a nice period for mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. So this we are talking about modern because uh, the development stopped actually after the Second World War. Was there a specific characteristic during the communist times in terms of cooking? Of Did you have shortages or? Yes, yes uh -huh. because you couldn't get anything fresh. Uh -huh. uh, everything was frozen if it, if, if it was available. So mm -hmm. If you could get it at all. And uh, yeah. I think the, the worst, worst thing was that uh, there was only one book of, of recipes. Really? So everybody had to uh -huh. use the same recipes all over the country. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the chefs couldn't do, you know, own dishes mm -hmm. or bring up something new. Mm -hmm. So it stopped. And uh, now we have to really take care and, and search for, let's say, new Czech cuisine. Mm -hmm. that we actually bringing up what, what we had uh, mm -hmm. 60 years ago. Right. And now, of course, we try to do uh, a bit new presentations, not to make it that heavy like it used to be in the mm -hmm. old times, because the people people don't work so hard anymore, and uh, of course, you don't need to eat that much fat and, and uh, heavy dishes like mm -hmm. like before. Exactly. So you make it a lot healthier now. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the menu here at this hotel? So we have two restaurants: the mm -hmm. Alcron. Uh, it's more than just fine dining, degustation, restaurant, mm -hmm. so the menu changes every month. And uh, it's based on seafood, but <coughs> we, also, we also combine different, <coughs> different uh, ingredients, like pork belly with, with prawns, for mm -hmm. example, or okay. langoustinos. And La Rotonda is supposed to be international hotel, modern hotel restaurant with uh, with some Czech accent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great, excellent. Well, thank you so much for this culinary introduction to Czech cuisine. Thank you, Roman. <laughs>